Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna finish this list with the last function, which is the most important function, match shapes. This basically compares two shapes, two contours. It basically compares, and it's just taking as input a first contour and second contour, or grayscale images. We can also say, according to the some comparison methods, which is defined in here. These are have different uh, implementation equations inside and we are gonna see detailly the differences between them in the code part and the last parameter is not supported now so we are gonna give as input just zero so never mind it and uh, this is really useful and important function I can say and this is uh, just you need to give a reference contour and another contour and it's gonna give you the output in double value so this double value is a statistical value it's gonna be between 0 and the 1 so more lower value you are getting which is more closer to the 0 it means the for these two contour are similar to each other so the value you are getting to the closer to the 1 it means they are different than each other Let's pass to the code part and see here. Uh, before code part, maybe I need to show you these images. In the previous video, we already used this image. And uh, for this video, I'm just crop some of the K, act and S character from that image. So I'm gonna try to find all of the key inside that whole image in here. And okay, uh, I'm gonna start with the key, which is the first image as reference. In here, uh, you already know these lines because these are belong to the previous video. Also, we already learned basically finding all of the contours in whole image. And here, I'm also defined the similar one, which is uh, which ha is helping to me find the contour of which is only one contour in this reference image. And I'm keeping it in contours reference and contours holding all of the contours inside whole image okay and I'm gonna print them in the out which is to show in to the results first of all in here I'm getting all of the contours in whole image so basically maybe we can see out match function directly match shapes now I'm gonna give the reference first of all reference contour which is only one contour inside so I can get the zero index and this the other contours I'm gonna uh, compare so I can compare in this for loop all of the all of the contours inside whole image so method let's start with the zero one which is that's a flag maybe we can also to be good in maybe directly writing this contour match one by calling let's start we can also put zero instead of this and the last parameter not important not supported so we are gonna put zero and uh let's one more and okay this is done let's see the results first of all uh okay i'm not drawing so i'll please uh nothing now in here uh, we have some numbers which is between 0 and 1 you see here the numbers which is close to the 0 which are these ones means they are key because they are really similar to key the, the function output saying to us and these are far away from the reference contour uh, to be more representable let's draw the contours and in different colors which are more uh, how to say which are more similar to the reference image how to do that maybe just take this in an if scope like this and if this is smaller than 0 0.1 so the shape is very close to the reference so we can directly draw that contour in different color for example we are gonna draw there the contours is gonna be uh, just contours which is compared and the contour ID is gonna be I and thickness not thickness but color first of all let's make it yellow and thickness 2 and none but else which is not similar to the reference we can draw it in different color which is white and let's see the result now what is wrong in here um, 
okay there is something wrong in here let me see again okay this is not gonna be like that but this sorry yeah now we see the results uh, which I'm doing here I just said the output of function which is the double value if smaller than 0 0.1 which is very close to the zero it means they are uh, similar to my reference which I gave key for beginning so you see they are yellow it can uh, separate from the other contours key let's try with others the second one I don't know what was second one act let's separate now act number here you can see now it's only finding 8 one more let's try with uh, 3 which is gonna find s yeah it couldn't find this one for example maybe I need to more lower the threshold 0 0.2 for example even couldn't find let's try 0 0.3 now could find uh, this will also you will meet in the future the threshold value you need to update always you need to find the uh, most efficient one for your case for example in here it couldn't find this one so I need to make the limit with the threshold higher in here so this function is very useful uh, in even some uh, artificial intelligence models this is still used because uh, it has really good logic inside to compare which we in the previous video we see the few moments so uh, it's using basically just combining few moments uh, seven few moments just combining and getting a statistical output we didn't see the other uh, results for example there are three implementation in here for example it couldn't find even uh, 0 0.3 maybe in 0 0.4 it will find the second method okay 0 0.5 yeah now it could find and uh, let's try the third one how it works third one you see it's not finding let's make it 0 0.1 again yeah like this but I suggest there are three methods but I suggest the first one which is working really fine in according to my experiences also the first one I'm using mostly so I also prefer you to use the first one the other one also uh, using in some uh, really accurate places maybe you can find in accurate cases but uh, I suggest the first method is better and yeah in this video I just wanted to show and we are finishing this module in the next videos we are gonna pass to the next module and I'm done for this video if you still watch till here please like and subscribe to my channel I will be happy. Okay. See you in the next videos.